He is the creator and master of the Living Tribunal, which is a powerful cosmic entity whose sole purpose is to safeguard and balance all the various universes within the multiverse. Basically a being whose job it is to ensure that the one's creations don't destroy themselves or overlap to create unhinged chaos. The creator of all there is and ever will be in the Omniverse, the one above all, is the most powerful being and effectively the ultimate god of Marvel. He sees all, knows all, and is able to appear anywhere and everywhere he pleases. He holds unlimited power and is capable of changing any aspect of his creations that he desires. No one is above him in power, hence his title. But despite being the most powerful being in Marvel, the one above all has rarely appeared in the comics, only making brief appearances here and there, and even more rarely using the full extent of his powers. Thanos and Warlock accidentally destroyed the entire universe after the latter had absorbed the powers of the Living Tribunal, and with no means of recreating it themselves, they had to turn to the greatest power left, the one above all. The One appeared before them as a human form of glowing energy, casually changing its appearance across genders during their conversation. After negotiating with the One, Warlock agreed to take up the great responsibilities of becoming the new Living Tribunal, in exchange of having the universe they accidentally destroyed be restored. The One appeared again as a middle-aged man when the Fantastic Four entered heaven as a means to save the thing from death. When they saw their creator, they were all shocked to see him to be just a regular dude living in an average house. He explained to them that he appeared the way he did, because that was how they saw him, for that was what his creations did. They found humanity in him. It's later revealed that the one is an artist, and that he creates his worlds by first drawing them and then letting them play out as they would naturally. This is a subtle nod to the audience, which implies that The One is basically the real-life comic book writers and artists. Anyway, The One later reveals to them his tool of creation, a simple pencil. Later, using the same item to heal Mr. Fantastic's burn on his face, he then told them that he was going to save Grimm from death, before teleporting them all back to reality, with their fully healed friend. There is no solid incarnation of The One but rather he appears what the viewer believes him to look like. For some, he appeared as a bright beam of energy in human form. To others, he appeared as a middle-aged artist. And once, he even appeared as a homeless man. He appeared as a homeless man to a raging Peter Parker, who was overwhelmed by the fact that Aunt May was on her deathbed and was soon going to die. Initially, Peter was hostile towards the man, telling him to back off as he wasn't in the mood to talk to any random strangers. But that soon changed when the homeless man healed Peter's bloodied hands that he received after aggressively punching a dumpster. Realizing this wasn't any ordinary person, Peter asked him who he was and began to get a bit nervous as he became aware that his spidey sense never alerted him of the homeless man's approach. The homeless man went on to reveal himself to the young man, filling his mind with his true identity. Peter then understood that he was now talking to his creator. Peter initially demanded that he save his Aunt May, that he'd do anything to get her back, but the one didn't entertain his demands, instead taking him to a beach as they instantly teleported across dozens of miles. There he showed Peter the thousands of people he had saved as Spider-Man, showing him all the good he had done despite all the suffering he has gone through while taking up that role, that most people that experience the same suffering tended to become worse as people, but not Peter. He was different and that he should be proud of his actions, despite the hardships he had gone through. The One then left Peter with the final words that he must have faith. It's not clear why the One took the time to do all of this, but there are two possible explanations. The first one could be that he truly cared for Peter, as he viewed him as such a pure person, so much so that he genuinely was proud of his creation, and he wanted it to make him feel better without directly altering anything else. The One did in fact value the unique, and Peter was quite unique for a human, so he likely held a special place in his mind. The other explanation could be that the one was simply trying to better understand his creation's feelings. Maybe he didn't fully understand humans and wanted to get a direct glimpse into them. Some fans have suggested that it's possible that humans were not directly created by the one, which may explain his keen interest in them. 
but so far there haven't been any concrete answers to his motives.